Welcome back, this is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks, and in this video we're going to take a look at setting up our ClickFunnels 2.0 domains or subdomains in most cases here. And most importantly, by the end of this video, you're going to know how to set up a root domain and be able to point it directly to a funnel just like you used to be able to do in ClickFunnels 1.0 by setting the default page for the domain. Now, a couple things you need to know about how 2.0 works, and is and that is, is if you go through the basic instructions, every single domain you put in there or every single subdomain you put in there will be pointing to the site homepage inside of your workspace. And that's where people run into a problem, but with a few simple little tweaks that I'm going to show you here, not only can we get that set up quickly and properly, but then, like I said, we can then move forward and start pointing our domains and subdomains to specific pages or funnels or wherever you would like. So the very first thing we have to do is start setting up the domain. So in my case here, I use GoDaddy as my domain registrar for all of my domains. I've been doing that for 20 years. I got everything there. That's why I just keep using them. And then also, I run absolutely everything through Cloudflare. And in order to make this work, you have to run everything through Cloudflare. Now, I'm saying you have to, but truthfully, I don't know enough about Namecheap or a bunch of the other ones to know, can you actually do this, what I'm going to show you directly inside of them? But I highly doubt it because most of them don't allow for what is known as CNAME flattening. And in the case of Cloudflare, it does. So what that means, CNAME name flattening means you can take off the subdomain and just use the root domain on its own and most domain registrars won't let you do that so let's just jump into it here first thing we want to do is go to our site tab right here and this here is what I'm calling the site home page not really sure if ClickFunnels has a specific name for this but this is the page where all of your URLs or all of your domains that you set up will resolve to is this page right here. So a lot of people are coming in, they're saying, okay, I'm gonna set up three different subdomains and I wanna point them in different places. Well, natively in ClickFunnels, they're all going to land you here. Then people say, okay, well, I got my subdomain set up I am, and I'm going to associate it to a funnel. They don't realize then that they still have to put in the path at the end of that subdomain, still has to have a path in order to get to that funnel itself. And again, I'm gonna show you how to do that without having to have the path and without even having to have the subdomain, just being able to do it from the domain, the root domain itself. So we wanna come down here to our domains, and then up here in the right-hand corner, we are going to connect an existing domain, and we are going to type this in. Now, I generally would tell you not to use triple W as your subdomain, and yes, triple W is a subdomain, because there, there's weird cases. It does not work the same as if you use anything else as a subdomain. I don't know if that's a function of your browser or if it's a function of click funnels. But in this case here, we're going to start off with the triple W and possibly then I can show you what we're looking at. So funnel uh, code secrets.com is where I want to send this to. We're going to click on continue. And it says right now that it is registered at uh, GoDaddy, so we're going to add this domain. And we'll come to the next page. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is click this big black button that says Start the Domain Setup. Do not click that button, okay? If you want this thing set up right, do not click that button. What we're going to do is click this right up here where it says Clicking Here. But before we do that, we're going to turn this off, okay? We will be pointing, in this case here at least to begin with, we will point our root domain to the subdomain, but we're going to do that manually. If you do this here, it sets up some page rules that are really hard to find, so I will show you a different way to do that, or we may not even do it at all because, um, well actually, I probably should show you how to do that. So let's go in here, we're going to click here, and then it opens this up, and these are your your DNS records that we have to change inside of your registrar. So the very first thing we have to do is we have to associate our domain with, um, with ClickFunnels right here. We need to put in what this here is known as a verification uh, record or whatever you want to call it. So we need to say our host is going to po point, and that's our at sign, which means 
our domain is going to point at this verification data right there. So first thing we have to do is go in and we have to go into our Cloudflare account and we want to add a new site. So we come up here to the top. Now, if you don't have a Cloudflare account, get one. They're absolutely free. I've never given them a dime in the 10, 15 years I've been using Cloudflare. So we're gonna do this and we're gonna come over here and here you're going to put in just the root domain. So we're gonna put in funnel code secrets.com and we will copy this out because I'm going to have to paste that in a bunch of times and we're going to add a site and we're going to come down here we're going to choose the free plan and continue and now it's going to go out and what it's doing now is it's reaching out to GoDaddy and it's pulling in a bunch of records now I've gone through this one multiple times so it may pull in a bunch of stuff yeah it's already pulling in stuff here that we don't want pulled in and this is already stuff I set up but I've used this domain before uh, to do this so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna delete this out because this would not be showing normally when you first came in here. So let's take that out. Now this C name record right there, that comes in and that's from GoDaddy. You can leave that in there if you want, but I know in this case here, I can delete this one out. So we'll take that one out. And then these other two, again, because I've done this already before, we're gonna delete those out as well. So this is essentially what it will look like when it when it's done for you. You may have no records in here. You may have 20 records in here. The biggest thing is I used to tell people that if there's any A records in there is to delete out all the A records. Well, then I was working with somebody one day where the guy had a bunch of apps on that he was, he was like an app developer or something. He had a bunch of apps all on exactly the same domain and he refused to use a second domain for anything. So we had to leave all those A records in there. So for 99.9% .9 of the time, if there's A records, you can delete them out. If there's C name records, normally you're gonna leave them alone. And then if there's anything else, any TXT records, MX records, SRV records, anything else, just leave them all in there. Don't touch those. If you're gonna to touch anything, it's the A records or the C name records, nothing else do you wanna to touch. So the first thing we need to do is we need to add that verification record. And we know that it's a text record, so we'll come over here, scroll down to the bottom, and we know it's said to put in the at sign here, which means the root. We could also just take this out, and I could just paste in the funnel code secrets if I wanted to. It's exactly the same thing. And then we'll come over here, and we will grab a hold of this little bit of code, and we will drop this down here in the bottom, do that, and we will click on Save. And now we will click on continue. Now we get to this next page here and it says uh, we need to change our name servers over at GoDaddy. So let's click on this name server here. We're going to go into our GoDaddy account. We are going to scroll down and I'm going to block all this out because you don't need to see all the hundreds of domains I have. And we got our domain here, FunnelCodeSecrets.com. And now they just changed how this looks really in the last week or so, at least that I've seen. So this is totally new the way this is looking in here. So we click on DNS, and then we're going to click on our name servers. And then we're going to change our name servers. And we want to say, I'm going to use my own name servers. And then we're going to paste in that first one. We'll come and grab the second one. And we will paste that one in there as well and then we will save this and we're going to continue gives you a little warning there make sure you you mean to be doing this and we're going to leave this alone it usually takes with godaddy maybe 30 seconds for this to propagate so we're done with that so now we're going to say done check the name servers and we're going to say get started now it's going to open up these boxes here you just want to make sure that everything is turned on so this is all turned on and again i've run this one through before so it remembered what settings i had in here and what this is all about it's about speeding up your site it's about um uh, what am I thinking here? It's about speeding up your site and it's about making sure that everybody gets forced to the HTTPS, the secure socket layer of your site. So we want to make sure that's all set up. So now we are here. we got our name servers right there. And now what we need to do is go back into ClickFunnels. 
click on this and we're going to validate our ownership by putting in that record. Now we can verify that we actually own that thing. Now, right now it's not showing here yet, but it did give us the other two and is actually saying that this domain key was in there. Now you saw me delete that out a few minutes ago. So we're going to have to go and put this back in. So we're going to grab a hold of this code right here. And it says, again, we need a text record for this. So we're going to come back here. We're going to go to our DNS. And we're going to add another record. We're going to make this another text record. And we're going to paste this into the first blank here for the name, because that's what it's telling us to do here. We got our host name, and then we got our data over here. We're going to copy that little bit, and we're going to pop that down here to the bottom. And we're going to click on Save. And then we got one more we have to do. We have the C name record down here. And that simply is we're pointing our www subdomain to ClickFunnels. With Quick, ClickFunnels 1.0, that's how I said target.clickfunnels.com. Here it's this. Sometimes this number, instead of being a 7, it's a 3 or a 4 or something else. So we're going to do that. We're going to come back in here, add our record. We're going to put in our C name record. We're going to say www. We're going to paste that in, and in this case here, we're going to turn off that proxy. And we are going to click on Save, and then we're going to come back over here to ClickFunnels. And in case you're wondering, this one right here, if you're having any troubles with your DKIM keys, and I'll show you that in a minute, um, this could be where the problem is coming in. If you don't have a green check mark here, it means that the DKIM key has not been set up properly. So we'll check our connection, and we got two of the three here. We were able, unable to connect to your domain. Let's just check this again. And let me just pause for a second. It may need to take a little bit. Okay, and it just took like another minute or two, and we got it all connected up here. And now up here, you see at the top here that it is setting up the SSL certificate. I found that it takes about 10 minutes to get the SSL to kick in. Lately, at least has been, I've had it where it's almost instantaneous. But let's see here, it's about 6, 10 p.m. And so we will uh, wait for that to get done. But in the meantime, let's come over here to our marketing tab. And we're going to come to our, let me see here, is it, uh, is it marketing settings? They just moved this again. Yeah, so marketing settings, DKIM key, and here we go, funnelcodesecrets.com. We got a check mark. So that means that the DKIM key, which is used to verify your domain in regards to your emails, that's all set up as well and good to go. So we'll go back to our site. We'll come back down to our domains. And it says here that it is still securing this. And if we click on it, it should take us inside. And it says it's still securing. We can show our DNS tables again. But what I'm going to do for right now is I'm going to pause for a couple minutes until this gets itself secu uh, secured. Okay, so it's been about three minutes. And now it says right here that it is connected. And let's see here, show our DNS. Okay, that shouldn't be a problem, even though that one turned red for, re for some reason. Let's just see here. Okay, now we're all back to green. Don't, don't Once you get this set up, don't worry if you come in here and one happens to be red, just re-click on it and it should turn back to green. And in the meantime, I went over here to GoDaddy. I reloaded this here, got back to my name servers because it kind of kicked me out. And we can see here that the name servers are set there. And then we can always come back here to our overview in uh, Cloudflare. And it says right here that uh, Cloudflare is now protecting your site. Now, one thing you might be concerned with, you say, you know, okay, I'm a little scared about doing this and running it through Cloudflare. What if I need to undo it? Well, there's two things. Well, there's only really one thing you need to do, but you might as well do both of them, um, which is you come down here and you just say remove site from Cloudflare. You click on that, probably click on another box to confirm it, and then it takes this domain out of your Cloudflare account. But also over here in GoDaddy and every registrar has exactly the same thing. You can come in here. Click on change your name servers. And in this case here, we would go back to the um, GoDaddy name server. So it'll flip it back to whatever GoDaddy's name servers are. And then you'll be completely disconnected from your Cloudflare account. And so again, that boom, that takes a couple of seconds to go in there, do that. Probably take about 30 seconds to propagate when you're using GoDaddy. And so you can just turn this thing right back off anytime you want. Now let's go inside of our funnel here. So if we, let's just do this. Let's grab a hold of this domain right here, subdomain technically. 
Um, let's paste it in and let's see where this takes us now. What it should do is take me to my home page that I built for the FBC uh, program, the Funnel Builder Certification Program as I was working on this. So it takes me there. Now, question is this, is let's open up a new tab, let's paste this in, and let's see where we go if we take off the triple W and it crashes okay so we got a problem there that we need to fix it says if we're not using the triple w where are we going to go how are we going to get there and in this case here to start off with let's say we want to have somebody be able to just put in funnel code secrets and be able to go to my site homepage. so let's get that set up Okay, so the first thing we want to try is just come back into our DNS here and we're going to say we're going to take our root domain and we'll just look at how I put this in. I just came in, you, like I said, you could paste this in or you could just use the at sign right there. And then I also said let's point it to ClickFunnels just like we pointed the triple W to ClickFunnels down here. And we're going to save that. And so now let's come over here. We're going to open up a new tab and we're going to paste that in. And we don't need the HTTP in the front of it there because that wouldn't be good anyway. Anyway, and we'll take this off and so we're just going to put in the root no HTTPS nothing like that no subdomains and we're just going to put this in and it's given us an error so we know that this alone is not going to do it so what we need to do next is we're going to set up a page rule and we're going to come to our page rules here and you see I got a bunch of page rules already set up so let me just in fact let me do this before I lose this let me just copy that out and it's always a good idea whenever you're doing any of this when like when you um, originally put in your dns records and all the records show up before you start deleting any out just take a little screen grab of that information if there's anything in here take a screen grab of that so that if for some reason stuff stops working you can go back in and you can fix it back the way that it was so what we're going to do is we're going to add a page rule here and you get three page rules for free with every domain you put into cloudflare you can buy more here so five more for five dollars a month I've not ever found a case where I've had to buy any page rules. So we're going to set up one page rule right here. And what we're going to say is we want anybody who types in basically anything that has to do essentially with that root domain, we want them forwarding to the triple W version of it. So we're just going to say here, let me just paste this in, uh, funnelcodesecrets.com, and they will not have typed in the HTTPS most likely. Um, we're going to do that, and then we're going to put an asterisk at the end here, so it's a wild card. So if somebody typed in funnelcodesecrets.com slash something, um, we don't know what that something's going to be, but we want them to go to the, um, to the root domain, to the site homepage in this case. So let's uh, do this here, forwarding URL. We're going to make it a 301 permanent redirect. And then in this case here, we are going to put in HTTPS colon slash slash we're going to paste in our domain which i guess i already had that right there and we need to put in our www right there and in the case of this here i'm not going to put in um, a dollar sign one or anything else at the end i'm just going to leave it alone because no matter what they put in if it's funnelcodesecrets.com we want them to be able to go here so let's save and uh, deploy this and now we'll come over to our page over here and again we will take off the https here in the beginning and just go to the root put that in and boom now we have it forwarding the um the root domain is now forwarding to the triple W. And if we click on this, you see the triple W in the domain right there. And then what I want to do is come back into our DNS. And I want to take out this C name record. And let's see if this works without that C name record. Because it should. And I'm going to pause for a minute just to give it a little time to propagate. Okay, that should have been enough time. And I've already tested this once. Let's test it again and let's do that and then let's do this here we're going to put in a slash and we're just going to put in some funky junk at the end here and let's hit enter and let's see what happens yeah it strips off the stuff at the end and it takes us to the home page which is exactly what you would think it should do uh, with our triple w subdomain right there 
Now, let's say we want to set up more than one subdomain using our domain that we have of funnel code secrets. Now, you see right here, before we change anything, we're resolving with the funnelcodesecrets.com, we are resolving to my site homepage, even though it says right here, it's still set to danhavey.myclickfunnels.com. So we can come over here and we go to our site settings and we can change what domain we're on. So we'll click there and here we go. Now we are on www.funnelcodesecrets.com and we can update the site. And when we do that, then it changes it here. But now let's say we want to put a different subdomain onto the same domain in the same account. So we can come down here and we're going to say domains. We're going to go here and connect and we're going to say we want to do hub.funnelcodesecrets.com and I got to clean that up and when I save it this time, oops, let's do that and let's take that out and let's just copy this bit here and we will continue and we'll add the domain. And now in this case here, we don't really need to do any of this, but we're going to click this. We're going to do that. We're going to show our DNS because we already have this verification record set up. So the last, or I would say, so it's equals GVD. Let's take a look over here. Equals GVD right there. So we already have this set up. We already have this set up because when you're talking about your domain key, it's only for the root domain. It is not for any of the subdomains. So all we have to do is come in and put in a new CNAME record. So we're going to say CNAME here. We're going to say hub. And then I can just come down here and copy this. And we'll paste that in there. We'll turn off the proxy. We will click on save. We have that there. So now let's come back into ClickFunnels. We can validate our ownership because we already did that once earlier. And boom, already it says that it has found the hub. It says our ownership has been verified. And then let's just reload the page here and let's see how long it takes now to get that SSL to kick in. So I will pause again for a couple of minutes. Okay, so that time it took a little bit longer, 8 to 10 minutes, I would guess is what it was. I didn't really check the time uh, before I bounced out of here. Um, so now we got it connected. And now let's go back to our site homepage. And over here, let's say now we want to come in here to our site settings. And we're going to move this down to now hub.funnelcodesecrets.com. So now this is set as our um, home domain page, home site home domain, let's uh, call it that. And let's go back to our main site settings. So now let's come over here and let's see what happens. We have our www.funnelcodesecrets.com. Let's see what happens when we hit our return. It should bring us right back to the same place. And it left it as triple W. So now let's put in hub and see what we come up with there and now it showed up now one thing you're going to notice here in the browser it is showing the hub part here and not the triple w and that's why i said earlier it seems like when you're using the triple w there's some corner cases where it causes some problems so whenever possible i'd suggest not using the triple w but here's the problem with that also is i was talking to a client one day and she said that when she sees just a root domain she instinctively puts triple w in front of it and i was just like huh Wow, never heard of that, never thought of that, but it is another corner case we have to take care of. So what we want to do is we want to have everybody who types in the triple W go to the hub subdomain. So we're going to come back over here into Cloudflare and we're going to set that up. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the triple W here. We had pointed it at us.east shard blah blah click funnels. Um, what we're going to change that to, as you can see here, is to the root domain. So you just come in here, you take out the um, the target for click funnels, and you just put in your at sign, and then you click on save. And this is saying, oops, no, oh, that's a two I put in there. Let's try this again. I was going to say this worked a minute ago. All right, and so now we're pointing it there. So we're pointing the triple W to the root domain, and we're pointing the hub to ClickFunnels. Now we need to go over to our page rules, 
And before we had said, send everybody to triple W. Well, of course we need to change that now. So we want to change this to hub right here. And so we got anybody who types in the root domain with anything at the end, they're going to go to the hub. So we're going to save that. And now we're going to add another page rule. And what we're going to say here is we want to say, we're going to put in an asterisk, triple W, and then we got funnel code secrets.com. And I could have just uh, grabbed off what was down below there. It's uh, much simpler to do that then type everything in so you can essentially grab this here, paste it in up there, but put an asterisk in front of it. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do a uh, forwarding URL, 301 permanent redirect. And then where do we want them to go? We want them to go to HTTPS colon slash slash. And what did we have here? Hub.FunnelCodeSecrets.com is where we want them to go to. And we are going to save this and uh, deploy that page rule. So what this one says that we just set up right here is if anybody types in the triple W before the funnels code secrets.com and if they type in anything after the dot com, any kind of garbage at the end, or before the triple W, if they put in HTTP or HTTPS or maybe even kind of screw that whole thing up, it will still... Uh, resolve them to uh, funnelhubsecrets.com and then the one below it of course we had earlier. Now there's one thing you can do here also is you can change the order of these because if you look at what it says up here it will only r run one of these page rules so you have to make sure you put them into the proper priority so if somebody typed in just this right here it would take them there or this and so in this case here it probably doesn't matter what the priority here is the stacking of this because when it, what it'll do is come from the top down, pick out the one that matches first, and then it will run it. So these are so totally different because one had a triple W, one did not. Um, doesn't really matter on the um, order on that one. Now there's one thing I forgot to do, and that was to come back to the DNS records right here. And I knew I had this, as you can see over here, I got a little bit of a cheat sheet from a uh, different one that I did the other day. And what we did over here is I knew there was a case where we had to um, take the root domain and point it to ClickFunnels. And this was the case here. It wasn't the last case where I thought it was. And so in this case here, we need to point the root domain to ClickFunnels. Now, as you noticed earlier when we did it, having that root pointing towards ClickFunnels did not hurt anything. It worked just fine. But now in this case here, we do have to have the root pointing to ClickFunnels. So we got the root pointing at ClickFunnels. We got the hub pointing at ClickFunnels, and then we have the triple W pointing at the root, okay? And then we had the two page rules set up over here. So we had FunnelCodeSecrets.com resolving to the hub, and then the triple W also resolving to the hub, which makes me think now that I wonder if we can turn off this second one. So let us do this first. Let's test it. And in this case here, we're going to put in just the root domain, and we'll hit enter. And it took us there just fine. And now let's put in the triple W and hit enter. And that brought us there just fine as well. So we know that both of them are resolving. The triple W and the root domain are resolving now to the hub. But now let's just tick this one off and let's see what happens. And what you're going to find here that these things propagate really fast. Uh, a lot of times I'll just, you know, turn something on or off and then go over here and test it right away, and it will work almost instantaneously. So let's again, let's try it without any other subdomain. So we'll just do the root, and now let's open up a new tab here, and we will try the root with triple W in front of it. And that's still resolved to the hub. Now, I'm not 100% convinced that this thing has propagated yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause for a few seconds, and then we will come back to this one. Okay, so I paused here for a few minutes. Like I said, it usually kicks in pretty fast. So we'll paste this back in, and let's put in triple W, and let's see where it goes. Went there just fine. And then let's just put in the root and hit enter, and it brings us there to the hub as well. So, okay, so now we have it so that we have 
a root domain going to the hub and the triple W going to a different uh, subdomain. So one subdomain going to a different subdomain. Now let's take a look at getting this hooked up uh, as far as the funnel goes. So let me see here. We should at this point have it. Um, no, we need to change this here. So we need to go this here to hub and we will update our site right there. So now it is hub.funnelcodesecrets.com. And just to be sure, let's come over here. Let's paste this in. Make sure we still get there. Okay, we're good to go. Okay, so now let's just open up a funnel here. And we'll come up over here to settings. And we're going to change this so that we're working on our hub subdomain. And instead of test new funnel, let's just take this out. And let's just make this test and we'll say update this. And so now we look up here at our domain and it's slash test and let's click on that and let's see where we go. And that worked just fine. And it took us to um, then it resolved to variation, which would then be if we come down here to I think it's our page settings. Uh, that's variation page it says here for the path so it must be the other one I can never keep these two straight uh, step setting so here is variation right there that's what it will resolve to but the actual link for the um, for the entirety of the funnel itself is the slash test because what you want to be able to do is on the very first step you want to be able to do a split and so that's why you have a link for the funnel itself and then you have individual links for your different uh, variations on your steps down here as well now what we want to do is we want to be able to take a uh, take the root domain and be able to point it directly at this funnel itself so probably a couple of ways you could do this I'm, I'm trying to think about this would we want to create another subdomain well creating another subdomain is not going to really do any good for us what we really need to do is to create another uh, domain altogether but before we do that I will show you how you can do it here and direct the root domain to the uh, funnel itself so we're just going to come in here and let's take a look at our DNS again because there's nothing we can do over here on this because we got our triple W pointing to the root the root pointing to click funnels and the hub pointing to click funnels so let's come and look at our page rules so we got our page rules here and what we want to say is when somebody puts in just funnelcodesecrets.com what we want to do is we want to send them instead of where we were we want to send them to that root domain I'm sorry to that funnel oops let me see here okay apparently I did not copy it I thought I had let's see here click to copy okay and let's do this paste that in okay so now it's going to go to hub.funnelcosecrets.com slash test so let's click on uh, save our page rules and now let's see what happens over here and let's paste in that whole thing we'll just wipe off the bits in here that we do not want and hit enter and it did not get us there yet Okay, so I've spent maybe half an hour now trying to troubleshoot this and getting it to work. And here's the really funny thing is I got this to work just fine the other day on a different site, exactly like I have it set up here. And like I said, I've spent 30 minutes uh, looking at the other site, comparing it to what I did on on our site right here and it is identical so I'm not really sure why this isn't working but I will tell you that this way of doing it has been problematic all along in that you are using the same domain for your hub than uh, your home your yeah your site homepage um, you're using the same domain for that as you're then trying to redirect to the funnel itself so if at all possible, even though I got it to work just fine the other day, doing exactly what you're seeing here on the screen, um, my suggestion would be to actually use a different domain and point it to your, uh, to your funnel. And so that's what we're going to set up now. 
Okay, so I'm not going to go through every single step. You've already seen everything one time. So what I did is I came in here and I created a new domain and I called this um, funnel, funnels.cfninjadesigns.com. That is the subdomain I'm using. And the reason why I have to do this is we have to have somewhere for this site to reside. Although we are not going to be using the funnels subdomain part, we're only going to be using the root and we're going to be directing that route to the actual hub subdomain. We're going to use that exact same page, which had the slash test at the end of it. That's where we're going to be redirecting it to. And so um, we, we do still need to set this up somewhere because we need to be able to, inside of um, Cloudflare, we need to be able to point it somewhere. So we had to set everything up the same way in GoDaddy, put in our name servers into GoDaddy, and then we come in here and we set up our DNS. Let's go back to the DNS here. And you're gonna see that this is exactly the same as the other one. Now they're not necessarily in the same order as the other one that we were setting up, but we have our triple W pointing to the root we have our root then pointing to click funnels and we have our subdomain pointing to click funnels mostly we need this here to be able to set it up inside of click funnels because we have to have this domain residing somewhere it doesn't reside anywhere else so it has to be somewhere so that we can point it then somewhere else and so i um, hope that kind of made sense so then we come into our page rules and again this is exactly what we did on the last one that I couldn't get to work for some reason. Um, so you can try them both. I think this is a better way to do it, to use a second uh, domain and then point it at the first one. Uh, but if you want to use it, it should work. I've got it to work in the past, so I don't understand. Uh, but either way, so we got here then cfninjadesigns.com, and we're pointing this at hub.funnelcodesecrets.com slash test. So it's going to point it over there. The same thing, we're going to take our triple W and we're going to point it over to our hub and that same page. And when it resolves, here's what it looks like. It looks like hub.funnelcodesecrets.com slash variation. And again, let's go back into that funnel just so we're all clear on why that is. We're going to come in here and let it load up really quick. And the reason why that is, is because although we're sending them to the slash test, um, each one of the funnel pages is going to have its own path. And so therefore, on this one here, we have the path of variation. But if we look at this page, we open this up. This is actually a clone of the Voomly sales page that I built just to basically learn more about how the products and everything work inside of ClickFunnels when you have multiple products with drop downs and, and stuff like that. So if we come back over here, let us just uh, come in and let us grab a hold of our cfninjadesigns.com. We will copy that. Come over here, let's open up a new window, let's paste that in, cfninjadesigns.com. Now what I found is, especially tonight, it takes a little bit for this thing to resolve. So there might be a speed issue as far as getting this page to resolve, but I didn't notice it when we were testing it the other day. So I also think I'm running into some problems with Cloudflare tonight because I ran uh, up against a couple of different error messages that I've never really seen before. So we got that one to work just fine. And in fact, let's just uh, kill this window. Let's open up a new incognito window just to do our final test here. So we're going to put in www. and then I will paste in the rest of it here, cofninjadesigns.com. And that should again resolve to the page uh, with the little kitty cats on it. Yes, here we are. And then let's try a couple more variations. Let's say we put in HTTPS colon slash slash www dot paste that in. And let's see, it'll take a couple of seconds here to load up. And there we go, got to the page as well. And then let's see here, let's just put in just the root itself and let's put a slash and let's put some path at the end there. That doesn't mean anything, but somebody thought they'd type it in anyway. And let's see if we get along to the same place. 
And of course, you can do the exact same thing here. Let's say we wanted to do cfninjadesigns.com slash join is what you want them to type in for some reason. I don't know why you would do that. But if you wanted to, you just come in here and instead of this asterisk right there, you just put in the word join and then that too should send them off to our test page right there. Okay, so when I got done shooting the video, I just kept thinking there's no reason why that wasn't working. And I actually went in, I was telling my wife about it, and I, and I just kept convincing myself there's no reason the first way that I did it should not be working. So as I said, I thought there was something funny happening with Cloudflare when I was setting it up because I saw some error messages that I normally wouldn't see. So I came back in and I tested it again. And all of a sudden, you're going to see here in a second, that it worked just fine. Took us right to the page where we wanted to go. And then if we put in our www, hopefully this will still work in here. Let's take out that garbage, which I didn't realize I had copied. Okay, www. Okay, let's hit enter. And it looks like it's going to work. Like I said, normally it doesn't seem to take this long. I don't know why it's taking so long for this to resolve. Again, there may be issues going on with Cloudflare tonight. So there we go. The root domain and the triple W subdomain. Now we have them uh, resolving to a funnel while at the same time we have the funnel hub itself. Let's see here if we can go to the funnel hub itself if that is still functioning the way we have this set up. Let's check that. So if somebody goes to hub.funnelcodesecrets.com, it still resolves there as well. So there you go. Just wanted to show you that, that it does actually work. It's just there was some sort of an error going on with Cloudflare. So I think that is all of the ways that I really wanted to show you how to set this up, mostly to give you the, the, the confidence in knowing that you can set up a root domain to go to your hub, to go to a funnel, and to have a second root domain not associated with your first, your funnel hub or anything else, have a secondary uh, root domain that also can be redirected into a funnel page. So if you have any questions, just let me know.